Start tonight, though, in Lake County. Two men are dead after an apparent murder suicide. This happened in the town of Paisley in what the sheriff's office calls a close knit community. West Chew's Gail Pascal Brown has the latest. The Lake County Sheriff's Office tells us that what happened here is a result of an ongoing dispute that's been happening since October. All I know is I went out the side door and I heard bang, bang, bang three times. Deputies responded to Fisherman's Road in Paisley around 12.30 p.m. Monday for a shooting, which turned out to be a murder-suicide. 59-year-old Timothy Patch was found dead in the driveway of his home. The shooter himself had made his way to his backyard um, where he apparently took his own life. He was 61-year-old Eric Martin Hildebrand. He lived in the house with his sister. She was not hurt, but was at home at the time of the shooting. Investigators say he was found sitting in a chair deceased from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. It appears as though it was over a, um, I guess, security light, a floodlight. And according to neighbors and in and, and our interviews, um, the light was so bright, it was going into the, the uh, what is the shooter's um, bedroom. And so this is something that's been going on since October, and I guess today it just finally came to a clash. But relatives of both men who've sent emails to West 2 News say the murder-suicide was more than just about a light. No one wanted to talk on camera right now out of respect for the families. Neighbor Gary Moran said the two men were recent neighbors, both living here less than a year. I feel so bad. You know, I think in terms of just the holidays, you know, and, and this is what's going to be remembered on the holidays. So, you know, it, it, it's sad and it, and it could have been avoided. In Lake County, Gail Pascal Brown, West 2 News. The Lake County Sheriff's Office tells West 2 News that there have been no calls at either address regarding any criminal complaints. However, in October, code enforcement was contacted, but we don't know what happened at this time.